Okay, Bolo Buddies, this video is going to be on how to get Google Lens on your phone and how to use it. Um, a lot of people ask questions about Google Lens and it's really, really simple to download. It's free and it is awesome. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, using Google Lens is so easy. So you can see I already have it downloaded to my phone. Right here it is. And I clicked on it, and now I am over here. You are going to click on that little button, and then you're going to go see right here. I'm going to pick this little guy, and we are going to see if we can find him. So right there, the fourth picture, I think that's him. But really, Google lens is not bringing up a whole lot. So sometimes you get a lot of results, sometimes you do not. Sometimes it is more accurate than other times. Now, thankfully, these are stuffed animals, so I really didn't need to use Google Lens for these items because they have a tag. This bunny right there, it popped up. It's the very first photo. Now, I can use a different image, maybe at a different angle, and I may be able to pull the item up better. This is a little lamb. And I had to scroll down a little bit, but you're going to see it right down here on the right. So Google Lens is a fantastic tool. That is going to pop up the different websites that these items are on. So you might see a Mercari listing. You may see an eBay listing. You may not see a listing at all. For example, in this one, I cannot find the item. But I had a tag, and I was able to look that one up on eBay. But Google Image or Google Lens is not always 100%. So when people post things and they ask for help, maybe they tried Google Lens, maybe they didn't. For the longest time, I didn't even know what Google Lens was and I have been a reseller since 2005. So now that I do know, it is a major reseller tool that is free. So download this app, use it, but once you pull up the item on Google Lens and you get your title and you know what it is, go to eBay and search solds. I would not use this for comping items out. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Basically, when you pull up the items, you're gonna see the items listed on different platforms. So you may see the listing on Mercari for $35. You may see it on eBay for 20. You may see it here and there for different prices. I would not use that as your comp. I would go into eBay and I would search solds because a lot of times those listings that are gonna pull up are gonna be active listings. And that person may not be pricing the item right. So always, always, always do your research. Okay, Bolo Buddies. Also, just a reminder, this month is This Is My Bolo and it is open to anyone and everyone. If you are interested in participating, please submit to me a 60 second or less landsta landscape style format before the end of the month. That means hold your phone this way, um, not this way. <laughs> All right, what you need to do is create a video, 60 seconds or less, and tell me about your bolo. And in this video, I would like you to tell me where you got it, what you paid for it, and what it sold for, and also shout out your eBay store or your YouTube channel. All right, so I'm gonna give you an example right now. This is my bolo. These are vintage pantyhose. And they do range. They range from bread and butter to not huge money, but can, some can go for big money, okay? I sold these for $45. I picked these up at an estate clean out, but you can find these at thrift stores and garage sales all the time. Um, 
There's also stockings and different types of sheer pantyhose that are 100% nylon and vintage, very old, that can sell for good money. Again, these sold for $45 plus shipping. These are going internationally. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And my YouTube channel is Bolo Buddies. I almost forgot to mention, please send those to me on Instagram Messenger over on um, Instagram at bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers. You can send it to me there or you can send it to me on Facebook. Okay, Bolo Buddies. So I want to give you a couple more examples from a couple of my members from last month's video. If you missed last month's video, this is what it looks like. Go check it out to see a whole bunch of this is my Bolo examples. Um, but here are a couple that I just wanted to add to this video, but you'll have to go watch the main video to see the rest. Hi, it's Rhonda from Got Junk in Our Trunk, and I have a bolo for you today. When I was a kid, we used to have door-to-door -door salesmen that would come around selling health and beauty aids, vacuum cleaners, and such. And my mom uh, typically didn't buy a whole lot of things uh, when people would come to the door, but when the Stanley person would come by, she would usually get um, some of their products for hair and things like that. But when I was about, probably about six or seven years old, maybe eight, um, we needed new brushes, and so mom bought my sister and I brushes, and this was my brush when I was a little kid. It is a Stanley brush. As you can see, this is like a plastic acrylic type handle, nylon here, and of course it's been used and all of that. This actually is a bolo. It's kind of like the Goody brand. If you look for the Stanley, you can usually sell their products pretty well too. Here's what this sold for. So keep your eye out for things like this. Don't pass them by. Happy junkin'. Hi, my name is Terry. I go by the name Mindful Recycle on my YouTube channel and in my eBay store. Today's bolo is this very large atlas. I purchased five of these from an estate sale this past weekend and I paid $5 each for them. Ran the comps while I was there and was shocked. I listed my first one for $475 and it sold within 24 hours. I listed my second one for $599 it also sold within 24 hours. Getting ready to list my third one. We'll see what happens. So keep your eyes open for the books. It seems like whenever I go to estate sales, people aren't going for the books. And I always seem to find treasures over in the books. So go find your bolo. Thank you, Courtney. Hi guys, Farm Girl Scavenger here. It is hotter than uh, the blazes here in Southwest Washington. We are at 96 degrees today. And I wanted to show you something that I think you should be on the lookout for. Also know that because of the fact that most people price these at $19.95 or less, you're going to have to sit on it for a little while. But I want you to understand you need to know the worth of your item and you need to price it at what it's worth and sit on it otherwise you're bringing the market down not only on a collectible but you're bringing the market down on something that there aren't a lot of out there so um i purchased this in january in la when my grandson and i went down to la to visit his dad i went to the la flea market with <clears throat> jenny from spruce and gussie's gussied and I saw this across the way and I paid $10 for it. It is a vintage 1950s Gilner California Pottery Pixie Ware Happy People Boot Planter. And they're hard to find. And you'll see a lot of people with this, these Pixie, these Gilner Pixie items priced at $19.95, $20.95, $9.95. And it just blows my mind. I priced this high at $129.99. I got a lot of giggles and grief from people, and I held on. Now, did I think I was going to sell it at $129? I don't know. You never know. There may be that one person. I got an offer last night for $75, and I took it. This is shipping out today for $104.50 all in. I hope that helps you, and know your worth. Know your item's worth, 
and let's quit bringing down the market on collectibles. Thanks. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Okay, Bolo Buddies, definitely go check out that video, and I hope that you all participate. Even if you don't have a YouTube channel and you just want to create a video and shout out your eBay store, that would be amazing. It does not have to be fancy. It does not have to be a huge, big money Bolo. It can be something just unexpected that you bought for a quarter and sold for 40 bucks. It does not have to be huge money. Um, I know uh, I tried to give you a variety of examples uh, from bread and butter unexpected to huge money with those uh, Terry from Mindful Recycle, those Atlas things. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Just fantastic examples there. <laughs> Definitely sub up these ladies. They are fantastic. I will link them down in the description along with a link to that video. There's going to be some other videos popping up here. Uh, definitely check out one of those to see other Bolo content. Thanks for watching. Oh, and be sure to subscribe. Um, so yeah, just fantastic, just fantastic, oh my gosh. <laughs>